Hello everyone, this is going to be a little short video clip, but I wanted to show you guys what's going on with these Honda V6 engines when they have this type of rattle noise. I'm going to play the rattle noise here for you right quick and let you see what it sounds like. Anyway, so if you hear that sound from your vehicle, more than likely what it is, is a failed timing belt tensioner. And this engine here had the exact same problem. It was actually this vehicle that I took that video clip from earlier. And I've got one of the timing belt covers off here. And as you can see, if you look at the, uh, you look at the timing belt here, there's a lot of play in it. And the dangerous part about this is if this belt jumps time, it can damage the engine seriously. So if you hear this noise, it's best to get it fixed sooner rather than later because you don't want your timing belt flopping around like that. It should be good and tight. It should not be loose. So I'm going to take the rest of the pieces off here. It's actually been going very well. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all off. But it's pretty straightforward. You take the serpentine drive belt off and the tensioner off right there. You take all the 10 millimeter bolts off to remove the timing belt covers, as you can see that I'm doing right now. I found what works really well to get that stubborn harmonic balancer bolt off is a nice big old three quarter inch impact. And air, by the way, a uh, battery powered one will not work. You need a big, heavy, professional uh, three quarter inch air impact to get those things off. I use these while working on a Class A RV doing tires, as you can see them stacked up right there. So that's why I had this thing conveniently, but it worked perfect. So if you can get your hand on one of those and borrow one, do it because it'll save you so much time and effort and headache. Anyway, I'm going to keep taking the 10 millimeter bolts off the timing belt covers here. We'll get down to the timing belt and I'll show you the failed tensioner. Okay, here are the timing belt covers. Just to give you guys an idea of how many bolts need to come off of which ones, here's the bottom one here. The bottom one comes off last because the top two kind of hold it in place. But you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts that hold this bottom cover in place. On the back one against the engine firewall, you got five bolts, three on the bottom, two on the top, and then a little wire, little wire harness that goes across the top there. And then you have another five on this one here. One, two, three on the bottom and two on the top. Now when you put it back on, you want to make sure you put the bottom one on first and then the top two. Here's all of our bolts. Pretty straightforward, 10 millimeters. Every bolt I was able to get to with my little electric ratchet here. If you've got a ratchet, it's going to save you so much time and effort, even if you just get a cheap one. If you're just a do-it-yourselfer at home, you can grab one of these for cheap at like a Harbor Freight, and it will save you a lot of time and effort for that job. Going to rack up a bunch of tools that you guys are going to need. <laughs> anyway, so there's all the timing components off. Let's raise the vehicle up a little bit and look at it from underneath. Okay, here's a view of the timing components from underneath. As you can see, we've got our crank pulley here with the harmonic balancer removed. Set that off to the side over there. That's what that looks like along with its 19 millimeter bolt. And up in here, you can see we've got some idler pulleys and tensioner pulleys. You've got a tensioner on the left and an idler on the right. And this piece right here, this is the part that goes bad and causes your rattling noise. So we're going to replace that along with all the other timing components, including the water pump and the tensioner, along with new belt. Okay, so I've got the old belt off. I made some marks on the new one so I can line it up correctly and easily. There's the old water pump. It looked okay, wasn't leaking, but it's a good idea to replace these water pumps when they, uh, whenever you're in the timing component area here. So I replaced the water pump. As you can see, there's a new water pump up in there. There's a new idler here, the new tensioner pulley, and the new tensioner. You got 10 millimeter bolts on the tensioners and 14 millimeter bolts on the idler and tensioner pulley, and then five 10 millimeter bolts on the water pump. Make sure you have a little drain pan here like you see 
to catch any coolant that comes out. I also drain the radiator, so we're going to give this a full coolant change. So that's where we're at right now. All I've got to do now is put the marked belt back on that you see there. We'll put the belt back on, rotate the crank a full 720 degrees to make sure that there's no interference and everything feels smooth. Then we put everything back together up top few things that you'll have to take off. There's the motor mount on the side and a couple brackets. Almost all the stuff is 14 millimeter and 10 millimeter, so it's pretty straightforward. Those are really the only sockets that you're gonna need. One thing I do wanna point out to you guys and make sure that this is in place because it happened to me here, is this little pin right here. This little pin can, can come out, as you can see, when you remove the harmonic balancer. So you wanna make sure that that little pin stays in. If that comes out and you don't put it back in, what happens is the engine crankshaft spins and this little timing belt pulley here does not spin. And the big scary part about this is if this spins and the timing belt pulley here does not spin, that can bend some valves. So be absolutely sure that that little pin is in there and stays in there so everything stays in time. So here's the new belt on, and as you can see, we've got all of our marks lined up here. I like to put two on the camshafts just to make sure, because as you can see, this one ran a little bit, so it's a little hard to tell. But this one down here, we know for sure it's lined up properly. We got that one over there. There we go, yep, that one's lined up. And we go down here to the crank, and we can see that that mark is lined up there as well. Once you're sure you've got everything timed properly, reach down in here on the new tensioner and pull out the little pin. That will release the tensioner. In addition to turning the crank and making sure everything spins freely, I like to start it and let it run for a little bit. It will run for a little while, and we'll just make sure everything's in good shape. And make sure you also install the harmonic balancer and a little timing belt plate, which goes between the balancer and the pulley for the timing belt down there to make sure that the timing belt stays in place while the engine is running. All right, let's go take a look. There you go. Everything looks good. The engine's running smooth, no noise. And that belt looks nice and tight. Now all we have to do is put everything back together.